Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. Now let's create Update Employee REST API. Go to the Employee Controller. Within Employee Controller, let me just write the comment here. Update Employee REST API. Okay. So just follow the steps. Public and response entity and just pass type as employee and let's give a method name as update employee okay uh, make this e as caps and we are going to pass id as a method argument along with that the object of the employee class so basically client sends updated employee object in a request body for that we are going to use employee object here now what we'll do we'll use uh, annotations over here so let's use put mapping annotation for update operation so this method will basically handles a put request for that we are going to use at the rate put mapping annotation let's configure our rest endpoint url over here slash employees slash just pass a path variable here that is id now let's map this path variable with a java variable by using at the rate path variable annotation and also we are going to directly map a request json object into a java object for that we are going to use at the rate request body annotation pretty simple right great so to update an employee first we need to retrieve our existing employee from the database for that what we will do we will reuse this code just copy this code so this will basically uh, you know retrieve an employee by id if the employee is not existing database then it simply throws resource not found exception so look at here uh, this is the duplicate local variable employee uh, here just pass this as um, let's rename this uh, object as employee details now what we'll do we'll update this retrieved employee object with a request employee object okay just change the first name employee details dot get first name similarly let's also change last name employee details dot get last name employee dot set email id and let's get a email id from the employee details object and set to the employee object now once we set all the information that we want to update to the employee object we simply save this employee object to the database let's go ahead and let's save this updated employee object to the database let's use save method and just pass the employee object as a method argument and here we store the updated employee object in a separate employee variable and we simply return this object to the client for that just use return response entity dot ok so this is 200 status and in a body just type updated employee already right, that is pretty much so what we have done we have retrieved a employee from the database and we have added all the updated information to the employee object and we have stored that employee object into a database and we have just written updated employee object to the client pretty simple rest api now let's run the spring project and let's test this rest api using postman rest client all right guys 
Spring Boot application is running on Tomcat's server on port 8080. Let's go back to the Postman REST client. Go to the new tab and just type localhost 8080 slash api slash v1 slash employees and this is the update REST API. So select put HTTP method and go to the header and we are sending JSON as a request body right so for that let's use content type as application slash JSON and again go back to the body in a body where we are sending a JSON right so let me copy the JSON object from the uh, post request and let me paste in a body and what we will do is simply update a employee that is a Ramesh employee let me show you that go back to the MySQL workbench so look at here this is the table it has four records we are going to update the employee with id 1 okay that is a Ramesh employee so let's pass id here to the URL as a path variable and I am going to update the first name from Ramesh to Ram and last name from Patatari to something like Jadav and email id from ramesh at the gmail.com to or ram at the gmail.com so look at here first name is ramesh last name further email id ramesh at the gmail.com right so i am going to update these details with these details okay so once you configure all the details hit send button yeah here we go so look at here the response we got an updated record in a response and we have successfully updated first name last name and email address let's verify in a table so let's uh, let's query the select statement here so look at here a record first record is get successfully updated all right guys we have successfully created update rest api and we have also tested it using postman rest client Thank you guys for watching, I will see you guys in the next one.